Hello and welcome. Today we have a really quick video just going over the difference between hammered hammerite and smooth hammerite. What's the difference in the paint? What's the difference in the finish? Why would you use one over the other? So I'm just going to crack these two tins of hammerite open. One is hammered obviously and one is smooth. Then we could have a look inside and see what the differences are. And you can see right away just from looking in, this is the hammered and it's got metallic flakes in it. So it's smooth, completely black, no flakes at all. So now I'm just going to get a piece of aluminium to paint these two on. So we're starting with the smooth hammer right. Let's put some on, not really being that bothered about the finish level here, just I'm going to try and quickly show you the difference between the two. Now we're putting on the hammered hammer right. It paints on exactly the same as the smooth. You start noticing a difference after it's been on about 10-20 seconds. That's when pits start appearing in the paint. This is what gives it the hammered look. So once you leave it alone and stop brushing it, you'll notice it starts to pit. So here we have the finished hammered hammerite. And you can see all the pits. You can see a bit of the aluminium through, but that's because I only put one coat on. If you're doing this properly, you probably put two coats on. But so this is the finish that's often used on railings. It's where you see it most often. Try to make it like a hand forged iron railings, so that's kind of, that kind of thing. And here you have the smooth in contrast, which is just a flat, shiny black. 